With Premiere Plus 2 Embroidery open, I click the A to get to fonts. Then I click the Font Manager symbol, and you'll see there's an Import Font from Embroidery symbol. Click that, and give your new font a name. This is Fina Casual, and I'm putting a 4 because I have a 4 inch that I'm loading. You're going to search for the file that has this particular font in it, and add the capital A, uppercase A, and click Open. Don't worry about that little loading sign on the right that was symboling around. Mine kept going forever. So I can tell you with certainty, do not wait for it. Now, if you want to drag and drop, go find your file where you have that stitch font. Find it easier to make sure it's sorted by name so that you'll have all your letters in a row. And then I arrange my windows to make it easy to drag and drop. Just take the capital B, put it on the B. You should probably say uppercase, put it on the C. D, you do not have to hit load, close, or anything else. You can just take each letter and pull it across and it's done. Now, there's an alignment nifty little tool. See, there's the bottom line of where your letter is going to sit, and I actually want it to be up a little higher, so I'm going to nudge it up. You'll see the size of the letters and where the top of most of them are going to sit as well. And again, you don't have to hit load, close, or anything else. Let's do it again with the R. Find that red line. The reason I have to zoom on these is this is a 4 inch. When I was loading up my smaller letters, I didn't need to bother to zoom. Put the alignment where you want and keep going. Now, you don't have to go in order and that's handy. Maybe you only want to key in 2019 with a certain font and you don't have time to load up every single uppercase and lowercase letter and symbol. Just grab what you want and notice that landed on the Y. Mistakes are not a big deal. I'm going to put the 2 over where it belongs. Then I'm going to go back to the Y, and I'm going to click Load. The program will open the file where it grabbed the A, the uppercase A. And I need to find the lowercase Y to fix that. Little slippy fingers, not the X. There's the lowercase Y. I click open. It says, are you sure you want to overwrite? And yes, I do. Now it's fixed. I'm going to fix that alignment so that the Y hangs below the line a little bit. And I, again, don't have to do anything else. Just go to the next letter. Don't click close, load, anything else. Just do what you want next. I was doing 2019 before I got a slippery finger happening there. And even with the entire font not loaded, you can use the letters you've loaded when you go back into the program. If you haven't loaded a letter, you can't use it. But if you only want something like 2019, you can do that. Now we're going to close out just so you can see the, how easy it is to go back in and finish. Maybe you need to feed the kids lunch, take a break or just load these for a half hour a day or whatever you want to do. Close out of the program to see I'm going to actually quit all the way out. I have left my little four inch file open. That's just we won't have to search for it later. So when you come back and you're ready to continue what you were doing, you just open Premiere Plus to Embroidery, click the A for fonts and then the font manager symbol. This time we're going to edit imported font, and I was working on Fina Casual 4. Once you've loaded the A, the capital A, uppercase A, you can just drag and drop every other letter and symbol that you're working on. So I was ready for the F. And again, you don't have to load all different sizes because the program will let you resize things. I had just figured another digitizer 
made these all look perfect. So I would load them as they are. And that digitizer is Meringue Designs. This is her Fina Casual font. 